Hello my beautiful Aries friends, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot. Hope everyone's doing well and I want to thank each of you for stopping by. This is a new love reading for the sign of Aries who's coming in. What could happen and let's cut this deck and get to the bottom of this energy. Let's see what we have here for you Aries. Okay, so we have the moon card. So that's Pisces energy. So we have you starting off in this particular month feeling as though you're underwater, feeling as though you're not really sure which way is up, very confused. We have the energy of you being very balanced, trying to look at facts to balance out this energy. This is a Libra queen. This is the energy of you really knowing what you want, having great clarity, making a head over heart decision, because you definitely have two different people that I think you're interested in. Somebody from the past is haunting you know because we have the the black uh, coyote or the black wolf howling at the moon as well as a white one so we have two different options here and you're really not sure you know emotionally you're very unsure of where you want to go but intellectually you're in the energy Aries of making a decision that's based on how somebody treats you in a very objective manner the Three of Wands is Aries energy. There you are in your reading. When we look at, you know, ticky torches, starry nights, we have the Three of Wands. You know who you want. You have someone in mind that you want and someone has you in mind. It's a person that you may have traveled with um, in the past or someone that you would like to travel with in the future. You could meet someone while you're on a trip or an exotic destination. Um, but it really speaks about adventure, somebody who's very adventurous, somebody who enjoys the outdoors, somebody with whom you would be very likely to have an exciting relationship, somebody who introduces you to new experiences and you them. The Magician card, this is Virgo and Gemini energy. It's very much about having all the tools that you need to attract new love into your life. Intellectually, you're very grounded. You know what you want. Emotionally, you're feeling a little bit off, you know, a little bit out of kilter. But really, the Magician card is all about having the tools to manifest everything. So spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, your emotions, um, you are the actions that you take. You're very grounded also. So you have all the skills that you need right now to attract a new love into your life. It's very magical. The Magician card is Magus the Healer. So it shows that you've done some healing over past relationship issues. You have clarity with this beautiful Queen of Swords. And this is all about having somebody with whom you have great chemistry, the, ma the magic in the connection. The Strength card, Leo Energy, fire in your belly. The Infinity symbol says that you're about to embark on a relationship that is going to last for many years, that the person coming in is on the same page. You both have fire in your belly. It's the energy of being bold and courageous and just very fearless in terms of acknowledging your desires, everything you want in relationship, and really going for it. The Six of Cups. So somebody may be coming in from the past for a reunion. Scorpio energy. Somebody that would like to grow old with you. Again, you have up to three different options is what I'm seeing right now in terms of new love. And this is all about loyalty, about wanting to grow old with somebody, having a passionate happy, joyful connection. Cups are always cups of emotion and love. The energy coming in right now is you're going to get an offer, you know, let's go out to dinner, let's go on a date, let's do something tangible, let's meet in person, let's go out and just have some fun, you know, enjoy yourself. 
So Page of Pentacles is a message about a date or an opportunity, an invitation of some sort. Temperance card again, we have somebody coming in from the past. So it looks right now like I'm seeing two different lovers and possibly three. But Temperance is Sagittarius energy. It's like, you know, let's balance things out. Yes, we had a misunderstanding. Um, but, you know, there is somebody coming in here. You're protected by a guardian angel. Uh, it's usually Ar Archangel Raphael, but somebody really wants another chance with you. The energy of throwing caution to the winds. I absolutely love this energy for you, Aries. You're free and easy and you feel good about life. So you're very interested in taking advantage of all the opportunities that you have. So right now you're looking very uh, like you want to have fun. That song, Girls Just Want to Have Fun or Boys Just Want to Have Fun is not the name, but... You know, we see that you have this overall energy of yang. You're really willing to take a leadership role in getting yourself out there. You know, going out, taking a salsa class, you know, talking to people online or just really. Uh, the yang energy to me is much more about connections with people you meet in person. We do see that someone is not as they appear to be. We get that all that is gold, is not, all that glitters is not gold so we do have somebody who may not be presenting their whole um self to you with that moon card imagine so spirit is really calling on you to manifest by envisioning what you want in a love relationship aries this is the energy that says that if you can't see it, if you can't believe it, you can't really bring it in. But we know that you can because we do have the magician card for you at this time. So let's see what we have. What about this moon card and new love for Aries? What do we need to know about that energy? The Heart of Cups, King of Cups energy. Keep, king of Cups is a Scorpio king. That is somebody I like to compare it to the captain of the ship for the movie the perfect storm except the difference is is that the perfect storm did not consume this captain this captain brought everybody back home this is a very courageous person it's water sign energy you know we see this it's it's the whale the belly of the beast but this heart of cups energy is the energy of excuse me this is um this is not the king of cups i misread this this is the queen of cups so you have somebody that's very emotional very nurturing very loving they have a very healing spiritual energy we see this energy that they 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 really gravitate to you because they feel as though you know you they really feel as though they can connect with you at a deep level emotionally this is a person who's not afraid of deep emotion deep commitment this is a card of motherhood you know the the 3 a.m baby feedings in the middle of the night the call from a friend in the middle of the night that they need help so your person is very giving very loving they don't shy away from intense or confusing emotions so you know very a very loving energy somebody who really knows how to love in the in the biggest way possible the sun card leo energy all about you know having happiness having joy laughter entertainment going outside going to a beach traveling together it's um you know it's it's absolutely excellent energy the sun card's one of the most important cards in my viewpoint for a relationship long term because it's sort of like the song or the the unsinkable molly brown sort of idea the fact that you can't ever really have a relationship go down for the count with this person because you the life force in your relationship is powerful it's very strong and so it speaks to the fact that no matter what's going on in your relationship the two of you have laughter you have resilience you have the power of the sun behind you throwing caution to the winds 
Ace and the Justice card. So you may be dealing with a Libra, as we see here also. But really, the, the, the ability, it could be a lawyer. It could be somebody who deals in the legal environment for you, Aries. But the Justice card is about balance. Sometimes it means paperwork for partnership. The Seventh House of Marriage is uh, full of uh, partners, whether it be business partners or life partners with a legal agreement. So it does speak to the fact that you are a little bit confused about how you feel about being married again, but we also see Spirit of Pentacles. You like the security, you want the security, you just have to feel as though the person is very trustworthy, and it looks like they are. The Spirit of Pentacles energy is a daddy card. It's somebody who's very generous with you, who comes in, gives you gifts, takes you out to dinner. It's the Taurus King. It's somebody who's very reliable, and someone who values relationship, commitment, stability, uh, an abundant life so the energy here is that this yang energy is very powerful and may really make you feel like really so taken care of that it pulls you out of any fears that you may have the Libra Queen, you are the, it's locking your heart in the cage, trying to be rational. You have different people competing for you, Leo Energy. You have up to five different people who you could give your attention to. You feel conflicted, though. You're not sure yet who you want. The High Priestess says you're going to follow your intuition. You may be dealing with somebody who's very intuitive, a Cancerian soul, somebody, again, who's very nurturing. <gasps> the Star card. We have Aquarius energy, somebody who is maybe well-known, um, publicly well-known. They may be a rock star in their field of endeavor. They may be a spiritual rock star, warrior. But this is a person who could also be a healer and who has healed themselves. Yep, there we go. There's that scorpionic energy. It's a transformation in love. What you want right now in new love may be changing dramatically. The judgment card is also giving up on ideas that didn't serve you in the past. It's that karmic reward for work well done in terms of your healing. The Three of Wands energy is clarified by the Innocence of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles twice here. So it does look like this person that is fiery, that could be this fire sign Aries or another fire sign like yourself, Aries. And, you know, it looks like they want to throw caution to the winds and invite you on some sort of adventure. Uh, excuse me, caution to the winds here. They want, this is the offer that they make to you. So it does look like you're getting an offer, at least from two people, uh, to have a chance. Look at the strength card. You have it here twice. Very strong Leo energy. The, the Leo energy is almost undeniable. When we get Leo energy, we see someone who's really hell-bent very much on making a manifestation and love come true for you. So the strength card is the person has the strength to uh, help you get out of your head. The Nine of Swords, you know, you've had all this worry with all this sort of watery Pisces energy over here, but I'm really getting the feeling that this person comes in so strongly that any feeling of insecurity, of doubt, of not knowing what to choose, of feeling a self-imposed restriction gives way to the courage to step in and make a logical decision, Aquarius energy, about love and knowing that you can really trust it to make you happy. Six of Cups energy. Look at that. Six of Cups twice. Again, it could be somebody from childhood or the teen years or an old high school boyfriend, college boyfriend coming back in, but you have a reunion on your hands. You are letting go of somebody else, though. You are letting go of somebody who uh, you're healed, but you're letting go of somebody who had you in a multiple party situation, somebody who really never gave you their undivided attention. The Queen of uh, Swords is the ability to discern that and cut somebody out of your life. And it does look like you will not entertain the uh, the person who's a phony, the person who you know presents one way and is actually quite different from that. What do we have here for the Magician card? Virgo energy, Gemini energy. 
Magus the Healer, the Magic of Love. Heart of Wands. There you are, Aries, in your reading. You are magical. You are presenting to the world at large as being somebody exceptional, somebody victorious in love, somebody with whom uh, partners want to take and introduce to their friends. You're like the perfect girlfriend card, and oh my gosh, the perfect wife and mother card, if that's what you want in life. You know, some of us are past the point of being mothers, but it really speaks to the fact that that a lover would really love to Taurus energy again right under that king of pentacles really saying that they see you as the queen of the queens the two of swords energy right now says that you're not going to make a decision about this person you're just gonna you know you're gonna play the field a bit you're not gonna jump in too soon but this may be a person with whom you could have a happily ever after relationship why do we have who is this strength card this leo energy is very strong in the reading tell us about oh the spirit of wands <laughs> that is the king of wands you can't make this stuff up leo energy the leo king somebody who's proud and fiery somebody who wants to protect you somebody who has a lot of pride who's somebody who's probably quite good looking charming sexy you know this is a person who uh you know is highly desirable and they want you you they have chosen you ah the moon card you may be nervous remember we saw the moon up here we saw the moon in this energy here you this person might make you nervous they're so there why are you nervous what is that the spirit of cups okay they don't really talk about their feelings uh, and that has you a bit worried here. So you're like, why don't they talk about their feelings? But I would say this, they will definitely tell you how deeply they care as the relationship progresses. This is a person who just keeps things to themselves. They're very watchful. We can see that fox watching his foxy lady, foxy man. So we see a person who very much may have a Pisces element in their chart. Uh, the Spirit of Cups is a Scorpio King, somebody who's been through, you know, to sort of to hell and back because, you know, life and death, rebirth. But they also have had um, some sort of wound from the past that they've healed. So we see this person coming in, and it could be somebody from your past with that moon card, somebody that you really didn't get any closure with or somebody that just didn't tell you how they felt. But we get the energy that that could be a current relationship that's just unfolding. And I get the feeling that you're going to feel very good about them going forward. We have the energy that for the, the Six of Cups. What do we need to know about the Six of Cups energy? All right. We have the Universe card. You want to make a final decision. You want the end of being single. That Scorpio energy. You're really ready. Scorpio energy here. Are you really ready to release everybody but one lover? You want to graduate to the next level. This is the most important, most successful card in the deck. It says that you've learned your lessons. It says that you're really ready for the final outcome. You know, that partner that's going to really be the one you've imagined. We see this, you know, you're in this energy very much of giving up the burdens of the past, letting go of that moon energy or anybody that makes you feel insecure or unsure of yourself. If people don't really, this is Sagittarius energy, if people just don't present themselves in a yang sort of way, I'm really getting that you're not going to be interested. You want to see an investment and you should because you are single and ready to mingle. You look good you smell good you are highly desirable in the dating scene so you know hold out for what you want Aries we get this incredible nine of pentacles you're not in a hurry but you know exactly what you want strong Virgo energy being very practical being very smart we have the page of pentacles an offer coming in somebody has fire in their belly they want to really give to the relationship we have the energy of the six of pentacles which is taurus energy so you really have a strong taurus presence a strong leo presence a strong pisces presence also 
in your energy we have the four of wands we have somebody coming in who has their eye on marriage this is a person that you may not have chosen in the past it may be a person with whom you've had some difficulties but we see that whoever the person is that's returning looks as though they're coming back fully ready to be a partner in a relationship we also get the movement of cups re reversed uh, it fell out that way so it really speaks to the fact that you're just not having any energy and you will not have anybody who's actually playing you at this time it's you know turning that upside down on its head somebody who probably was very young whippersnapper out when they were young ladies man coming back in to really give you a Taurus commitment hierophant relationship so this is an offer your person plans on making a bigger offer with time, but very strong energy about somebody who wants to be grounded, committed, happily ever after, somebody who wants to transform their lives, somebody who has fire in their belly, but we also see the energy of someone who's very calm, who knows how to handle their emotions. Temperance, what is this reconciliation card about? Working on things, working through things. Uh, learning, you know, getting to know each other, getting to know all about each other, doing the work, gaining mastery. Look at Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. That is, Eight is one of my favorite numbers. It's a number of stability, very foundational. It's very advanced foundation. It means you've done a lot of the work. And we get the Lover's Card. We get Gemini energy for you, Aries. How gorgeous. You have a soulmate connection here. The Seven of Swords is telling us that you need to be very careful about someone who seems to be a bit immature, could be younger than yourself. They're throwing caution to the winds, but there's something about this person that you don't trust. We see that you're going to move away. If they're too young, too impetuous, if they're not showing any stability, I'm, I'm seeing Five of Swords, that you're just, you really are not having it. The Five of Swords is like, oh no, not me. You don't have me today, said Aries. And, you know, you're in that energy of no mind games. You're very uh, willing to defend yourself against this person. I don't really feel as though you're going to do anything with them. At best, you'll go out and have some fun in a group setting you might meet them in a group setting they're going to really want to have a relationship with you but I'm just not getting that from you um, you know you're not you don't look like you're going to reciprocate this relationship there we go four of cups you're not going to accept their cup of love but Aries you have really great options here I like the energy for you and so let me know below you know you've been you've had some pain in the past this was at the bottom of the deck but you have a lot of clarity you know you've really let somebody know how you feel about them you've let them know that they didn't behave correctly whoever that party is but you're in a good place you've left all the things that hurt you behind and you're moving into this energy of three of cups celebratory energy so aries that's what i have for you for new love sending you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from i would love to know and i thank you for watching thanks so much everyone Bye bye